Hey, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the shop. And uh, what I did yesterday was just some like, uh, it really wasn't film worthy. It was just some little detailed things that um, didn't take a whole lot, but I was going to show you them anyway. So I have my cables. Uh, I've got um, these um, pieces that I made that capture the elevator cable are in place now. Um, I think I decided I'm going to come back and add add uh, two more screws to the to these. This one down here is perfectly fine. Um, these are flaring out just a bit, but maybe that's really not that big a deal. This one does it more than anything, but uh, it's doing exactly what I wanted it to. It's capturing it. It's not moving laterally um, at all. And then I tied up all the other cables. I just labeled some of them and I basically strapped them in here for now. As you remember, um, I needed to add this little piece of plywood here, which I've added now. I'll kind of uh, urethane that before I, before I get to covering the top. Um, but this section here, this section right here will be cut out. Uh, the fabric will be released from there. So, and then, uh, once I get uh, down here, I've got uh, my elevator trim cable is tied up, and then the other two cables are tied up right here. So there's nothing hang nothing hanging out. It's all accessible. And then I tied up the the uh, cable that I have for the seatbelt right here because uh, before I put the when I put the top cloth on, uh, there'll actually be just a a small um, opening right here in the fabric that'll be reinforced with a patch over it and then that's the location where the cable exits through the fabric so I'll kind of make I'll get everything positioned I'll make that cut I'll pull the cable through and then I'll finish my shrinking and all that to kind of tape the cable to the top side so I'll have that uh, access to that when I put the headrest on um, the, I did, went ahead and put the brake handle on um, right here, and the way this uh, the way this works is uh, is you have a uh, what's this just kind of this evens out the pull, but you have some 16th inch cable and you have some 16th uh, uh, thimbles um, like you saw me use on the uh, other cable. And so this goes, this goes down here, and then you kind of get uh, the cable comes up and attaches right here, and it goes to this top one, and then each of the two bottom ones go down through this bracket um, where the then the cables the cables mount to that bracket, and then they go down through the floor and out to the. Uh, out to each of the respective brakes and so the, it pulls on this um, when you squeeze the handle and uh, it's really just to it's really just to hold you um, in place it's not necessarily designed for um, those band brakes are not designed for heavy braking um, you know a plane of this speed um, that's really not necessary anyway so if you uh, if you have a need for heavy braking, um, you probably should have gone around. So <laughs> it's uh, because you can put this thing down and get it stopped in uh, you know two three hundred feet. So uh, yeah, especially on especially on grass. Maybe not on asphalt. You might need a little more run out room. But um, so this is all this is all set now. Um, you probably you saw I got the safety piece in there, and uh, that's all. That's all good to go. So that is that. But today I'm going to clean all of this off because I need to um, get ready. I, I need I need a place to kind of work with the other stuff. I might not have to clean it all off, but anyway, we're going to start to put fabric on the fuselage. So um, that's what we're up to today. Big day. Finally, it's here. Um, and uh, so I'll get to kind of get everything together, then I'll show you what I have, and then we'll go from there. All right. All right, so the minimum overlap on fabric is um, 
is one inch. Um, and uh, I'll probably go an inch and a half. I'll probably come down to about here. I'm going to overlap it. So I'm going to just go ahead and kind of sand uh, up, maybe up to this two inch mark right here. So what I'm going to do is just give this give this whole thing kind of just a light sanding. Um, just something like that. It doesn't require a whole lot. It just gives a little extra tooth for a uh, for the fabric to uh, grab a hold of, so <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and sand, and I'll just on the side here. I'll just go ahead and catch this whole this whole section up to two inches, basically. Um, yeah. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way up to the front. And then uh, we'll get that all cleaned off, and then we'll be able to uh, jump to the next step, which will, which will be um, unrolling some fabric on here and uh, getting it kind of cut roughly, and then we'll um, roll it up again and then kind of start the start the gluing process. So, um, yeah, man. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> take my uh, pink and cheer um, right here and I'll cut this off from the roll get it straightened out here I've given myself more than enough. I've got, uh, got to go a little further here on the back, probably. Probably on the front. And then we'll pick up, uh, try not to let this drag on the ground, so. Now we're just gonna move it. Uh, Move it over up here. And I'm just working off the square area, so we'll leave about. Uh, four inches across there. <clears throat> Front. Right there. Just straighten this side out. Now 
I'll just start uh, cutting and collecting along the side here. I'm going to go about four inches on this side, so I've got plenty to work with. Probably used to say fabric is cheap, but that's not the case anymore. It's, uh, it's about 10 bucks a yard, um, so it's not that cheap. <laughs> so, so I don't want to waste too much, but I want to make sure I've got enough where I don't have to fight anything either. So I'm just going to go about that far. And then this piece will be used for one of the fuselage sides. And then some of the corners that get cut off will be used for like the landing gear. So I'm using uh, EcoBond. Um, it's very uh, simple, easy to use, doesn't smell, um, and uh, I think it's a <clears throat> I think it uh, works works out really great. So uh, so what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is uh, first. Just apply the glue. I kind of like the two inch brush for applying the glue. You just put it full strength on the uh, on the wood here. Wherever you want the uh, fabric to bond to. And then we're going down about an inch and a half. First, we're just going to get it glued to the top surface here. All right, so um, I did all the way up to here, and you can tell when it's uh, when it's ready because it becomes really transparent and uh, and tacky, and that's when you're ready to go. So all I did was peel this back, and I'll bring it back here. Then we'll double check everything. Make sure we got plenty of uh, room on all the sides here. Nothing has moved on us. All right, then the next step is to um, take the glue, after you just kind of smooth it out, um, and we're just gonna paint the glue down through fabric, and it'll attach to the glue that we've already put on. So you can see it basically encapsulates, uh, it just encapsulates the fabric, the glue does, so. And at this point, 
it's uh, tacky enough to kind of hold the fabric and you can kind of, uh, you saw me uh, peel it up and uh, put it back down. You still, you can still do that, so it's not a problem. Yeah, I'm just uh, trying to make sure I'm not going to have any wrinkles, really. So. Now, before I do this, I'll show you. There's a little trick uh, while you're working on this and you're waiting for uh, kind of the next thing. If you take a wet uh, cloth and you lay it over your cup and your brush, that'll keep that moist and it won't dry out on you. Um, now we'll just come, we're just gonna come to this end. I just wanna tug right on the middle just to make sure everything is good and it's not gonna shift where I don't, where I run out of room here. But that actually seems really good, so. time we run that out we'll be good so now we're gonna we're gonna brush our uh, glue down through the fabric here things that you uh, you want to be ready to do is uh, as soon as you get to a section glued like that you want to come back with a rag <clears throat> and you want to wipe it off right away I like that because then it gives you also gives you a chance to kind of kind of push the uh, make sure that you're pushing the glue down um, into the glue that's below. So and now I can see I have a nice even a nice even color there. So everything is uh, everything's gone uh, according to plan. So all right. So now we'll just keep going. Um, up the sides here. All right, so I'm going to continue. Uh, I'm going to continue up, and then when we get to the fuselage uh, uh, plywood area up there, um, then I'll uh, I'll hop back in, and we'll go to uh, we'll go to that step. All right. So I went ahead and ran the same distance of glue all the way to the front here. Um, it's just that same width on both sides here. You don't put glue out in the middle of the field yet. Um, actually, after you shrink the fabric is when you put your uh, when you actually glue that to the wood um, so be, otherwise your glue would be activated by the heat of the gun and you would have a mess so what I'm gonna do now is and I probably should have done this from the start um, this method that I was using here may have been better served to take the iron and actually tack everything down uh, to make sure that I've got everything laid out properly and then once I have it tacked in place good then I can come back with uh, come back with the glue and go down through the fabric and I was going to show you the iron that I 
purchased. Um, the last time, the last time I did fabric, I had an iron that just would not calibrate. Um, it was, it was really, really, really frustrating. So I told myself if I ever did this again, I was going to splurge and get a good iron. So I got the Fabric Pro iron. It has a digital um, uh, reading on the top to tell you exactly what your temperature is. And I actually tested it with a um, infrared gun earlier, and it's, it's it was they were only off by one degree from each other. So that could be either a one degree difference in the gun or a one degree difference in the iron. But um, either way, I have confidence that this is reading correctly. So. So I'm gonna set this for 200 degrees, and then I will um, I'll go around on uh, each side, and I'll just kind of tack this in place, and then that'll uh, that'll set me up that'll set me up good for putting the putting the glue down. I, w I was concerned that if I kept going like this, I might end up in a situation where things are gonna get off, and two sides are not gonna really match up, and so I don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do this side, and then I'm going to come back and uh, and I'll go over and do the other side. Okay. All right, so thanks for hanging out with me. Um, so the covering begins, um, which is uh, which is really good. So just gotta collect a few things here, put these away. Scissors, pencil, ruler. So I got. Uh, uh, <clears throat> you saw me get a little bit of this back section, and then I got this whole side over here. Um, had a little, just a few challenging spots, kind of around this landing gear mount here is a little bit challenging. Um, I had to cut it here to make this transition. Um, no problem when the, this slaps over, it'll actually go right down the line there. And then when you get to the very front here, um, things got a little challenging. Up around this curve so but I worked through it um, then I just have to come back get this part work my way over here get this one um, and uh, then I started on the back section over here and we've got uh, it's got a few bubbles that seem to iron right out whenever you just tug on it and put the iron to it those those come right out so it's not too uh not too bad so we'll deal with those tomorrow and uh yeah so thanks for hanging out with me you know i appreciate it and uh if you're not a subscriber and you're new here hit that little subscribe button and then the little bell um, next to it so you don't miss any of my episodes if you're interested and uh hey i'll catch you later